Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from Kern County. I'm here with Pistachio and Citrus Farm Advisor Craig Carlson. Wanted to talk specifically about orchard design for pistachios. Uh, there's been a lot of increased plantings in the pistachio industry. It's, it's really exciting times. And I wanted to talk specifically about those, a lot of new people getting into the industry. And what are some orchard design and layout considerations uh, to, to really consider here? Recently I've had a lot of questions regarding uh, how do we actually grow pistachios? Uh, it, it's a, an area of active... Uh, activity by growers. There's a lot of people that want to plant pistachios, but uh, obviously there's a number of things you want to look at before you decide to do it. Uh, there's several steps you want to do once you've made the decision. There's obviously a number of things you want to consider. So what I'm going to talk about sort of already assumes that you've done the basic things. You have an area that's suitable for pistachios. You have water quality and ground that's suitable for pistachios. And basically you have enough water for pistachios. So Let's assume we've made those decisions, we're going to plant pistachios. So we'll talk a little bit about orchard design. I guess one thing you need to do is decide which variety you're going to plant, and that can affect things like tree spacing. In general, and this depends on the variety and on the soil quality, uh, we're probably going to plant them roughly about well, 19 or 20 feet between rows and somewhere between 16 and 20 feet between the trees in the row. Uh, there's different ways to plant them. We can plant them in a square. Most of them are planted in a rectang uh, rectangular planting, obviously, if you're going to have something like 20 feet between, tree between the rows and 17 or 18 feet between the trees. We call it a rectangular planting. And uh, it can either be uh, sort of the, the same pattern all the way across the field, or you can offset it, where, there, where the one row next to the other row, the tree's in between the other two. So uh, these are decisions that need to be made. We also have to decide how many male pollinizers we're going to have. We don't have a lot of uh, data, unfortunately, on that, but generally, I guess our sort of our standard is uh, one male tree for every 24 female trees. And now I've seen people starting to spread them further apart. Again, we have no data to support that kind of a conclusion, but we, we do have people doing that. Generally, I think it depends on what's around your field. If you have a lot of pistachios around your field, you probably can, can move the trees further apart. But 24 females to one male, usually that's every fifth tree and every fifth row, works well. Uh, we also have other issues. Uh, one thing that we commonly think about is how are we going to manage the, the, the ground in between the trees? Are we going to have a cover crop? Are we going to use herbicides or a combination of herbicides and uh, disking? Uh, how are we going to control those middles? Uh, and that, some of this can impinge on tree spacing too. For instance, if you're an organic farmer and you don't have access to good herbicides or effective herbicides, you may want to put the tr trees a little further apart so you can cross hedge. Other decisions, are you going to plant on a berm or not? I see a lot of people planting on, on berms, but if you're going to plant on a berm, you should know why you're putting them on a berm. We have a lot of good plantings where the trees aren't planted on a berm. Another important aspect sometimes we don't consider is actually the logistics of harvesting. Uh, in general, we want to have a loading area for our pistachios. I know it takes a long time before you get your first yield, but it'll eventually come. And uh, we like to have an area about 50 feet by 500 feet uh, for every 40 acre block or so. We can uh, put the loader, we can get big trucks in and out. We don't want to bl block state highways. And we don't try, want to try to fit our loader in among a, a replant or something. These are this big equipment we're using here. And that's one reason we want our rows, difference between rows, to be somewhat like 20 feet apart. Because this, those bank out wagons, they're big. And also, if you're turning those big shaker units, you know, in between rows, you probably want at least a 35 foot buffer between the last tree in your orchard and a, and a fence or a telephone pole or a, a, like a state highway. You don't want to be turning onto big, busy highways when you're harvesting your pistachio nuts. Uh, if you'd like more information on orchard design, I will be presenting at the uh, University of California Pistachio Short Course. Uh, I'll be presenting on November 5th, and uh, uh, please register, and you can register online. Again, it's a virtual course. Thank you, Craig. Looking forward to your presentation. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.